Beating Lyme disease is not about just making Lyme disease weaker. It's also about making yourself stronger, right? There is a dual thing that has to happen where you get stronger and the Lyme disease gets weaker for you to beat something, right? If you were to beat someone in a game of chess, it's not just because the other person completely fails. It's also because you studied chess and you understand the moves to make. That's the same thing with this, right? It's not like you're just going to destroy the Lyme, right? You also want to get stronger. You need to be able to fight against Lyme, but also fight against coronavirus. Any other illness that could possibly get you sick, you need to strengthen, modulate the immune system, do these types of healthy habits that will actually protect you against other illnesses while increasing your ability to kill Lyme disease, while increasing your ability to stay alive and happy. We're not just talking about one single piece of health. We're whole human beings. It's not just about one thing that's gonna kill them. It's not just taking a pill. It's not just taking a, a medicine, right? It's becoming stronger as well. It's becoming stronger in your mentality, choosing the right things each part of your day, which definitely is difficult. There's no way around that. It's difficult for me still. And I believe that I have very healthy habits, but I still have little crutches and little things that I do or or you know every now and then I'll just completely blow it all up and not care about it we all do these things where we will self-sabotage we will let weakness get the better of us we will lose discipline our sense of self for a minute or for a day or for a week or for a month or for two months for a whole year sometimes Sometimes more than that, depending on what we're dealing with in life. We all have traumas. We all have difficult things that happen to us in our life. And to pretend that that doesn't exist would be detrimental to you guys. It's just can't do that. <laughs> You've got to find the way where you getting stronger compounds the effect of you being able to make Lyme disease or any illness that you're dealing with weaker. So if we're weak from the moment we understand we have Lyme disease and we just crumble beneath its weight immediately, the only thing to do from there is to find a way to get stronger. And the best way to get stronger is by continually following habits every single day. You've got to advance yourself in order to de-escalate the things that hurt you and advanced things do the basics advanced people advanced animals advanced businesses advanced anything does the basics consistently well you would say a tiger is advanced when the tiger can eat whenever it wants because it consistently hunts and finds food for itself it mates regularly creates babies does all those things right you would say a human is advanced when they you look at them and you believe they have everything figured out from financial life to family life to marriage to health to spirituality all of that stuff that person would be advanced in your mind right i mean it, it might be a weird way of framing it an advanced person but i believe that our goal should be to advance ourselves at the very least i'm not i don't really care whether whether or not there's such thing as an advanced person but i believe i should advance myself forward from where i am today to where i want to be that means i have to show up consistently and do the basics whether that's eating healthy and when i say healthy i mean like getting all the greens that you're supposed to have in a day getting all the protein you're supposed to have in a day and staying in a calorie maintenance or sl maybe slight deficit for a lot of the time exercising for those of you that exercising is not possible, ignore this, but find a way to move the body. If you're in bed and you can't feel yourself from the waist up, maybe you can only move your legs. Move your legs a little bit. Any movement in the body, nine times out of the ten, is good. It's when we're sitting still and collecting dust that we're also allowing the Lyme microbes, any microbes, any viruses, get the advantage our bodies need movement they need to pump blood to they need to run every system in the body every day and one of those systems is the sweat glands and there's a lot of detoxification purposes for for sweating every single day and if we choose not to over time it's just not as ideal as if we chose to 
See, I believe that these things, rather than using supplements, I like supplements, especially like herbal supplements, but the supplement market is very fishy, okay, to say the least. And it's unregulated. There's things that supplements are not going to fix. And those supplements can become an easy button for people who lean towards that, right? And so they think, okay, I buy the supplements, I get better, right? And it can become a crutch. And then they skip the basics because they believe that this easy button is going to fix the problem. Now I understand that it's easy to do that. And I understand that it's an easy mistake to make, but we have to do what it takes to become better in order to solve that, in order to bridge that gap, right? We have to take responsibility. We have to lean into accountability and we need to build the relationship with ourselves that allows us to build in healthy habits and avoid most destructive negative habits. The thing is like habits is a weird word because there's things that we do that are just what we do, right? In order to get through the day, our routine, our habits. The easy button usually yields subpar results because it causes people to skip the basics that allow them to become stronger and more advanced so they can weaken and de-escalate whatever's harming them. So the easy button needs to be debunked, right? And we need to realize that there's a time and a place and a position for those additional helpful things like herbs. But without the basics, we're kind of wasting our time. We need these basics in place in order to actually beat something, heal from something, become a different person that handles it. We need to become the type of person that can handle anything. That's what beats Lyme disease. So let's do it. We have a program that starts February 1st. It's going to be amazing. We're going to literally bend over backwards for anybody who wants to get rid of this thing. We want to see you transform as an individual and become somebody who has the strength to beat Lyme disease. And we're going to help you do it without researching endlessly, needing a ton of questions constantly answered and letting you worry you and consume mind space from you. You should be able to go about your life still continually and let us handle this part, the, the killing Lyme microbes, the becoming stronger and beating Lyme, using the tools that we have in order to measure your progress and in order to find the underlying issues that allow Lyme disease to thrive within you. Because if we can target those underlying root causes of illness beyond just the Lyme microbes in your blood, because if you think about it, it's not just, it's not just the microbes. It's other things causing your immune system to overfunction or underfunction, causing the Lyme microbes to persist and thrive within the body. When our immune system overfunctions, it gives the Lyme microbes more food to eat. When the Lyme microbes have more food to eat, they thrive. Clearly, like any other organism, right? So what we want to do is target these underlying root issues that allow that immune system overfunction. Sometimes there's immune system underfunction as well, which is not good either, right? And, and so we can fix that rather easily. We can fix the overfunctioning. We can fix these things. And when I say we, I mean you can fix these things as long as you know what to do each step of the way. And if you never have to think about all this stuff, what to do each step of the way, then you're at such an advantage, right? So if you just give that burden, constantly questioning what to do next, how you're going to beat this, what, you know, constantly trying to figure out how to heal. I've been there, obviously. I'm still obsessed with it. <laughs> I want to see you heal, like, more than I want to. Like right now it's six in the morning and I'm making this video talking to you because like this is what drives me, right? This has nothing to do with financial gain. This has nothing to do with like pride or ego. Like I literally need to eradicate Lyme disease. It's why I'm here. I need to fix this problem. And once this problem is fixed, I'm gonna find another problem probably that I latch onto. 
but it's gonna be a long, long, long time. I'm talking, it'll probably take me 20 years to have like some real, real solutions, right? Because we're just gonna keep getting more and more data. The more patterns we'll, everybody will see, the more we will be able to come up with methods that maybe are an easy button, but also the more we'll be able to spread the message that the easy button doesn't get the task done. So what if you never had to think about Lyme disease and you could beat it within 90 days? That would be an ideal situation, wouldn't it? Well, if you wanna see how I did it, how I helped my friends and my family do it, and how I help my clients do it, and there's a program, like I said, starting February 1st, we're gonna be helping more people do this. Watch the video in the description. There's a link, just click on that link. You'll have to put your email in and then you'll see the free presentation that will share every single thing you need to know about how to do this. I'm excited for you. Congratulations on, you know, being here, taking the right steps for yourself. And I'll see you on the inside. Have a great day. Peace out, friend.